Hello y'all, happy Monday. So today it is it's like 7.45ish. Um, I am actually still right now currently waiting on my daily vlog to finish exporting because the sped up versions are taking forever to export. As you can see, it's, it's like going frame by frame and it is taking its time. That is not why we are here today. I actually wanted to sit and talk about Kingdom of Ashes. A lot of you guys know if you watched my other one, you know that I recently redid my room and so I'm having to figure out new angles now that my furniture is in different places. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. Oh my god, could this be a new... Oh my god, look at that! This is a new angle! Sweet! So we're gonna talk about Kingdom of Ashes. I'm currently on chapter 18 and I am 192 pages in. So, if you do not want possible spoilers, because I don't know how spoiler I'm gonna get, but if you do not want possible spoilers for A Wicked Thing and or Kingdom of Ashes, I will put the timestamp right here for you guys to head on to like the next clip slash topic. So go ahead and head on now if you don't want to be spoiled. Basically, if you are still here with me because you either don't care about spoilers or you have already read the books, then I am so scared for Aurora. Right now she is at the point where she is over at Finnegan's um, home at his castle and his kingdom and she is trying to figure out her power. She is trying to learn just how connected to the dragons she is and I'm just so scared because I can like see them falling in love with each other and I'm actually like this is what I have wanted all along. I really, really liked Finnegan in the first book. I couldn't tell if we could really trust him, but I just felt like that's who the author really wanted us to, to like. That's who she really wanted us to go for because Kristen and Roderick were like okay suitors. If Finnegan had never arrived, I would have really wanted her to be with Roderick. That's who I would have seen her thriving and doing the best with. But then Finnegan came into the picture. He seemed to be the only one that actually really, really cared for Aurora the way that I think someone should have cared for her. And I can see her slowly but surely now falling in love with him. I'm doubting everything and I'm very upset about it and I don't want to be doubting everything, but I am. So there's that. That is what I'm feeling right now. I'm just a whole basket case of emotions and I just want them to be happy together. I'm worried that Tristan is suddenly back into the picture and I am really worried about what Roderick is doing if he's actually really like working against his father or if it's some, some other type of rumor. I'm almost 100% sure that this is, it's a duology. So things have to finish. Like I'm halfway through this book and yet I have no idea, you know what? I actually need to look that up right now because I cannot be torn to pieces thinking that it's a duology only for it to not be. I just cannot handle this kind of surprise on a Monday night like this. I cannot. But she also has Long May She Reign, which is a book that came out last year. Okay. Yes, it says there are two primary works and two total works in the A Wicked Thing series. Okay, so this is the last one. Yeah, see, the average rating for the first one was a 3.31, and the average rating for the second one was a 3.5. So even more people enjoyed this one. So, okay, I'm going to keep reading. I'm super scared, but we're going to see what happens. So it is 10 o'clock, and I have just finished Kingdom of Ashes. So there is just something about any type of fairy tale retellings that I just enjoy so much. Like, what I... Would I say that the writing in this series is fantastic? No, but I still enjoyed it so much that I want to give this book a four out of five stars, and I'm going to. Like, this is this was a four out of five star read for me. Was it a four out of five star in the sense of that again, like the writing, everything was amazing? No, but just the enjoyment that I had, how fast I flew through this book, and how much I kept going page by page, just wanting to know 
what is gonna happen next anytime i just feel like that i just get the i just love it um so i'm super super happy that i did read this and i got to see this series come to an end this is a very open-ended series um i think the ending has left a lot open for interpretation i think she could totally write another book if she wanted to but it's definitely not necessary but i love the ending i loved how it ended i loved kind of how full circle we've came just so so good so that is all for tonight and i will see you guys tomorrow or probably wednesday hello guys happy tuesday night I just got home from my night job um but i just got out of the shower and i have actually and i'm actually exporting my video for tomorrow that it is shadow hunters night i am nervous about this episode because of course i have already kind of spoiled myself a little bit because i did go on twitter and i really shouldn't have but i did um but i'm gonna go ahead and watch it anyways and i am actually gonna go ahead and take some notes because i know that after i watch it i'm gonna be ready to go to bed because i will be quite tired so i will be discussing it in the morning with you guys um but the next clip for you guys but i am actually gonna be going ahead and writing down some notes like i used to back in season two late season one early season two i used to do shadow hunter reviews um i'm not going to be doing a full review but i will be actually doing a sit down segment with you guys and kind of going into more depth with the seat with the episodes um but at the beginning of that clip i will leave a timestamp for the next clip after my shadow hunters talk in case you guys could care less because i'm sure there are some of you that do not watch that show and do not care so i will leave a timestamp for that when the next clip starts tomorrow i will be allowed around a little bit more tomorrow being Wednesday I do work my day job nine to five then I am stopping by that other possible night job to fill out some paperwork um, and then but then after that I am home for the evening and I do really want to continue the forgetting which I'm really enjoying so far actually I am only on page 25 but i am really liking it so i do want to get more into it tomorrow um and then i think for friday i'm really wanting to try to finish this book by either tomorrow or really early on thursday because i want to film a try a chapter tag i guess pretty much i'm gonna have two tags this week i know but this one's kind of different um i do have four other books on my tbr for the month of april and i do want to try to get to all four of them but i also am wanting to still try to finish the raven cycle series so that's technically six more books and we are already on the 17th of april so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get to all of them yeah so that is all that i got tonight so the next clip will be tomorrow morning discussing shadow hunters all right good morning happy wednesday so we are here to discuss shadow hunters so if you could not care less about the good old shadow hunters chat that we're going to be having i will go ahead and have the timestamp right here for you guys to be able to go ahead and head on to the next clip i am going to try to keep this as concise as possible i did wind up writing down just about a page worth of notes last night i didn't really want to get too crazy into it like when i used to do like the actual sit down review videos i would have like three or four pages worth of notes so this is definitely a start I'm definitely not gonna be going um into crazy amount of detail but there's definitely some points that i really want to hit so i do think that this episode was better than last episode shadow hunters has always kind of been the show that in my opinion just seems to carry and try to support way too many plot lines and it just always kind of seems like you're jumping all over the place but i really feel like we were able to slow it down a little bit and really kind of just focus on I guess like four I guess I think two really big plot points and then like two smaller little subjects streaming I think this episode just flow together I think all of the different situations that our characters are in are all kind of you know moving towards one big path right now so they're all starting to kind of congeal and so this one just seemed a lot smoother well I guess we'll first of all just talk about the whole Lilith going to Magnus to get a potion to make someone fall out in love fall out of love with someone and then giving it. I think that definitely kind of makes more sense now because I wasn't really understanding how Lilith was able to control him so easily because I thought that Shadowhunters were supposed to be able to have like, you know, I thought that their runes and that kind of, and like their angelic power was supposed to help stop them from getting possessed by demons. And then let's go ahead and kind of talk about this whole Malik drama. So... 
I feel like both of them are in the right and both of them are in the wrong. I'm enjoying the fact that we are seeing some conversation happening between the two of them, but at the same time, I thought that this kind of communication had already happened. I know the whole talk of Magnus being immortal is I don't think ever going to be like done and with a happy solution because it's such a big one person's immortal, one person's mortal, you're going to wind up losing the person that you love at some point in your life. And it's a really unfortunate discussion to have to have and I feel like we are going to continue to kind of see it crop up in different ways but I don't know if I really liked the way that it was brought up in this episode just because I feel like this episode was a way to appease book readers. Alec in the book has a really selfish way of looking at it as of oh you're gonna date me and then when I die you're gonna move on and forget all about me 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 me. Previous episodes Alec really focused on the fact that he's concerned that when he dies Magnus is gonna have to go through the torture of losing Alec and of being alone again yet in this episode suddenly it had just flipped and suddenly he was all concerned about Alec not leaving his mark I guess on Magnus and I just really didn't understand where this whole attitude change had come from I I don't really understand it um, again I think this was to appease book readers but I think that it was just kind of a weird point on his personality but I did love the fact that at least Alec came forward and was honest about the fact that he went snooping and Magnus didn't have to like accuse him of it I was really happy about that and then my favorite scene I think of the entire episode was when the shadow hunter I think his name is Underhill is his last name or something like that he came to Alec to thank him for pretty much paving the way for gay shadow hunters and <sighs> That just made me so happy and it made me so proud of Alec. Um, but now this whole thing of people talking about the fact that they think that that's going to make Alec cheat on Magnus, I'm just, I don't understand where people are getting these theories from because if you have seen the way that Alec responded to Robert cheating on Maris, you know that there's no way he would do that to Magnus. So then <laughs> one thing I just really wanted to hit really fast was the fact that, you know, Magnus told Alex to kind of like calm it down we will look at moving in together in the future because they've only been together for two months and I just I really feel like I cannot even think about this the timeline of this show without having to be like I'm sorry I have to go away for the day I now have a migraine I need to go to bed because this timeline is just so messed up and there's no clear way I don't understand how all of this could have happened in only two months I feel like the ending scene with Alec and Jace are supposed to be Peripatai and I just really do not understand their relationship right now because Peripatai are supposed to be the you know the closest they share a soul um they're you know best friends best type of warriors together blah 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 blah, blah trust each other with everything basically one half of a soul and I don't understand how like Izzy and Clary have a better relationship than Alec and Jace do right now. I think that the ending scene with Jace going to Alec and kind of like apologizing and saying that he's going to the Silent City, I think that that redeemed him a little bit, but I still don't really understand how people are getting away saying that like, oh yeah, like Jace cares about Alec, like how can you, where's the evidence of that? I don't see... Um, any evidence of Jace really caring about Alec the way that Alec cares about Jace in my opinion. And then Ethereal's now dead so there's that. Oh I was so happy to have Cleophis back in this episode. I didn't realize how much I missed her but it was nice to see her again. And also Izzy going on a mundane date super cute. The only thing is like I really do not see that working in any way shape or form because she would have to lie to Charlie it pretty much the entire that you know that's obviously not going to be a long-term thing really quickly I also want to talk about Jordan and Simon so we now figure out for sure that you know Jordan is a werewolf and he had been sent to protect Simon I'm just curious as to how first of all they've obviously been living together for like long enough that Jace has come snooping around but so where's Maya First of all, I don't understand how they're keeping Maya and Jordan separated. I would still wind up asking my boyfriend like the name of his roommate. So then that would blow everything up right there. But also Simon had a gig at the Hunter's Moon and yet 
Maya works there so why was she not there that night or if she wasn't working why was she not there to support her boyfriend so I feel like they're just trying to like keep her slipped out of the shot right now so that way they don't have to deal with the Maya Jordan drama just yet but it just isn't making sense like I don't understand why there wasn't at least an excuse put into place like she's really busy with schoolwork or she's going to visit family or something and that's why she's not there it just doesn't make sense that she's just like disappeared for an episode everyone's just kind of sleeping on the fact that between the last clip of the episode and the promo jace basically gets roofied and then is sexually assaulted by a greater demon are we not gonna talk about that no i feel like there's so much talk about other things happening like that and yet jace kind of gets swept off to the wayside like that is a big thing um so, because he has no control over his actions right now, and I feel really bad for the poor guy. Um, so, this was, again, though, this episode was interesting and all that jazz. So, okay. It is now 8.20, though, so I have got to go and get dressed because I have to leave in 10 minutes. That's fun. All right. Goodbye. Well, friends, so it is still Wednesday. Go me. <laughs> I'm feeling more and more. Um, so I have a package that I want to share. This is not a book. Since I knew that I was going to be keeping my books over there, I was going to need to be getting some lights that are battery operated. So that is what I got from Amazon. I don't know if these are going to work, but I'm going to try them out. Um, and then I can return them and get new ones if need be. This is what they look like. I'm interested to see how they're going to work. This is huge, which I'll just have to hide them, I guess, behind some books, which is fine. And let there be light. Woohoo! Can you guys even see that with, the, with how bright it is in here right now? Yeah, you can. Kind of work at it a little bit to get it to work in the middle because these were actually a little bit shorter than I thought they were. But it works. I actually quite like that. So I have got all my lights put up except for the ones that are on my white bookshelf. But the problem that I'm having is that they are different colors. So this one is the cool white and then the ones on this wall are warm white. I don't know if it's going to be a huge deal, but do you, can you guys tell a difference? Yeah, you can tell a difference. These are like almost like blue, more bluish in shades while these are more yellow. I don't know. I feel like I actually like these better, but I don't know <laughs> if they have these in cool blue or cool light, cool white. Good morning, happy Thursday. So I did wind up last night going ahead and taking down all of those lights because I just wasn't a big fan of how different the colors were from the warm light back here and then the cool light on my uh, bookshelves. I know that's such a small thing, but I was really not a big fan of it. So I decided to take them off and I think I'm just going to keep the lights just around my bookshelves and I do want to get one more strand of those lights to go around this one but I'm not really in a huge hurry to do that as of right now. It is um, nine o'clock. I actually have about 30 minutes before I'm going to work today. They went ahead and asked if I can come in from 10 to 5 today instead of 9 to 5 which I am so down for. So I have a little bit of I have just about actually only about 20 minutes now um, until I need to start really like getting ready. Um, I have just been continuing reading the forget getting this morning I am now on page um, 109 I wasn't able to read as much as I wanted to yesterday because I kind of went down a this, like YouTube tunnel and just started watching a bunch of YouTube videos instead of work instead of reading so there's that that happens every once in a while um but I have work and then I, of course I have work today and all that um, but then I do not have work tonight, so what I'm decided to do is I do need to go ahead and film my video for tomorrow. And even though I'm not done with this, I am going to go ahead and film that Try a Chapter, which I am enjoying this book right now. I just feel like I'm missing something. I feel like there is something that is supposed to be in this book or like a fact or something. I almost feel like I'm reading the second book right now without have read the first book. I know that this is the first book in whatever this series is going to be. I think there's like one more book after this one. I want to try to figure it out, but we will see what happens. So, I don't know. I'm just going to keep reading until I have to go to work, and then I will catch up with you guys in the afternoon. Hello guys, happy Thursday. This is the only angle you're ever going to see from me ever again. This is the way that I like to, because I can now have a really nice sitting place for you guys. Um. So I just finished filming my 
video for tomorrow. It is actually like about 7.15 right now. So I really, really want to be able to continue reading The Forgetting tonight because I'm getting to a really interesting place right now. Tomorrow I'm going to my grandma's house and actually staying the night because I'm going to the zoo with her and my cousin and her in their school on Saturday. So I know I really need to try to get this video done. But I wanted to say that I but I did get a package from Penguin Books. Um, and I wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, I don't know where my really nice super sharp scissors went, but that's fine. I'm just going to use my pink scissors. So, there's something teeny tiny in here, and I'm super excited to see what it is. This is what it's like, what's really fun is that I have no idea. I'm, I'm definitely not at the point yet where I feel at all comfortable, like, asking for books whatsoever. So these are, so these are just, like, really nice surprises, and it's super exciting. So let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It is a pre free preview of the Reaper at the Gates. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I'm going to leave immediately and start reading this. I'm so excited. I just tell you that the release of May books that I want is insane. It's so long. Um, I might go over that at some point this week and share with you guys all the releases I want for May because there's a lot. Hello, friends. How's it going? Um, I honestly do not know when the last time was that I last chatted with you guys, but it is Sunday afternoon. It is 5.30 on a Sunday. Um, I'm going to assume that either the last time I filmed was either Thursday or Friday. I don't know which day it was. But hello! So things have been pretty busy. I went up going to my grandma's house Friday night and staying over because I was going to the zoo on Saturday with my with my family and their school. So we went, had a blast. I unfortunately though wound up getting like this super like weird anxiety thing. So I was just not having it with the crowds that day, which was really unfortunate because it was pretty quiet for like the first hour because we got there at open, but then it started to just get busier and busier and people were just like flooding to the areas where the animals were and I just could not deal with it and it was it was just not it was not a good time for me, which was unfortunate, but, um, you know, I kind of powered through it, so I made sure that my cousin still had lots of fun, which was all that mattered, but I did still kind of feel bad that I really couldn't get up there with the animals like she wanted to. I just, I could not do it. Um, but then I did wind up spending the rest of the day with her, and then I wound up spending the night last night and just enjoying the day. And then today was a huge filming day. I wound up actually filming five videos today, which I'm super proud about. But that does mean that I did not really get any um, any reading in at all today. Um, but I did wind up fin finally finishing The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron, and it's kind of funny because... One of the videos I just finished filming was actually my, like, one of the review videos that I filmed that had this book in it. So I actually just literally finished doing, like, a whole spiel about that book. So I know that I was planning on talking to you guys about this book. But I really don't want to get into it too much since I literally just, like, spent, like, a good ten minutes on that book. Um, I just really want to talk about, like, I knew going in that this was supposed to be, like, a dystopian, but I did not think I was going to enjoy it as much that I, as much as I did, and I really, really love how Sharon Cameron kind of brought that dystopian vibe into it kind of a little bit later into the book. It was just super, super interesting. Yes, I gave it a four out of five stars. I, know, I really noticed how far behind I am on my reviews for the all the books that I've read. And what I really decided that I want to do, let's just say, for example, I read A Kingdom of Ashes, because I did read that one, and then The Forgetting. I read both of these um, in the same week of the 16th to the 22nd, which is this reading vlog right here. What I really like to do is would be able to then take those two books, review them on that Sunday, and um, and and have that video go up that next week. I'm just I'm getting tired of the fact that I'm as of right now I am technically 
almost a full month behind on reading vlogs if I were to only post one a week. I would constantly be about a month behind depending on how fast I continue to read. I'm wanting to do a week of reviews. I filmed all four reviews I needed to film today to get caught up and hopefully if my editing goes the way that I want it to this week I want to be able to have all four of those videos go up this week. That way I will be starting next week on a new slate. So we will see what happens but I am hope but I am cautiously hopeful that this can happen and I am excited for it to do so. So first things first though is that I am going to be editing this video so let me go ahead and again just really quickly mention the books that I read this week. The first one being The Kingdom of Ashes again by Renan Thomas. This is the second book in the a Wicked Things duology I guess and I wound up giving it a 4 out of 5 stars and then I read The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron which I gave a 4 out of 5 stars as well. I thought they were really cool in their own different ways so I'm very happy with them and that is all that I'm gonna say because I want to get this reading vlog up at a decent time so I really hope this isn't too short. I don't remember all the clips that I filmed so I hope I have enough content. I will go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek to the book that I am reading next and that is The Queen of the Tearling. That is the book that I'm picking up um, and I am reading this one next because I just really want to read it. So all right guys though thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys um, tomorrow with a new video and then I will also see you next week with another reading vlog. Goodbye.